1960-1961 RCA AM pocket radio. This is made in the United States of America. This was in a box of 20 radios uh, from I think last week that I went through and this was the most requested to be repaired. Then there was the Sanyo and I think the Sony. We'll get to those in the future. It's a Model 3 RH10. Uh, it was it uses 4 volts. That's interesting. So we can power this with a lithium lithium uh, ion battery um, obviously the battery leaked and the just the off gassing from the alkaline kind of tortured everything here this is the one with the center tap speaker that drew a lot of interest having a center tap speaker um, I dug the schematic up for this radio and the center tap speaker was uh, a lot of companies use that GE Philco and basically what it is is it just eliminates the audio output transformer you can see what they do here this is basically just a high impedance speaker and instead of having you have your intermediate driver transformer there instead of having uh, an output transformer that basically couples the high impedance transistors down to an 8 ohm speaker you have a I think it's a thousand ohm center tapped are we not focusing here I think it's a thousand ohm center tapped speaker that's just driven directly by the transistor so it cuts down on the size it cuts down on the cost I'm sure and actually a correction it is um, 90 to 110 ohm voice coil so not a thousand 90 to 110 look in the parts list I figured the first thing I would do is just ohm out the speaker because like I said it was absolutely 100 percent quiet unlike this airplane and the the voice coil to the speaker is very close to where the leaky battery was so it's this is not looking too happy 24 megs so we got here 25 megs 25 million ohms Going from there to there, we got five megs. Two megs. What what's going on here? Uh, we do have a It's just, just a bad connection. Let's see. 100 ohms. Okay, that looks a little happier. I think we just got a bunch of corrosion on these. Uh, 54 ohms. Okay, we just got a bunch of corrosion on these pins here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the capacitor wizard ESR tester and I'm going to check some of the traces. This is really good for measuring low resistance loads or low resistance. Uh, circuits so I just want to make sure before we actually power the radio up because it's been sitting for a while that we take and try and get this all in frame and I'm just gonna make sure the traces are not burned okay that one's good That one's good. This thing beeps under a half an ohm. Can't really see this one. I 
there's a trace right along the edge here. Okay, that one's good. So, okay, um, it's just so corroded. IF transformers like just black from corrosion. Okay, I believe I found an open trace finally. Um, couldn't even see it, it's so gone basically. So the spring battery connection here comes to here. And then you see there's a trace right along the edge that comes up to this point, which is probably where the power switch is right here. And this appears to be open. If I go, to, if I go from the spring to here, I don't get anything there. If I go from here to here, I don't get anything. Interesting. So, you know, really working on these radios. I, I find it pretty just it's almost like relaxing and enjoyable you know but I uh, confined spaces and small things where I have to use magnifying glasses they, it doesn't bother me um, you know it requires a lot of patience and concentration as you can tell try not to just totally terminate the whole thing guess I could just try and wipe this thing off with some um, vinegar or something acidic just as long as nothing's eaten up inside the IF transformers This should be a really hot radio. And you know, you, you could pick these up so cheap. So if you end up destroying it, working on it, there's really no guilt, you know. I gotta say this capacitor wizard is not quite the quality that I would have expected. I think what we might have is we might have where this piece of metal here, this spring where it's soldered, there's been a, an, an oxidation layer has built up between the spring and the solder joint. That's why you never solder crimp connectors. Well. It looks like the break is right here. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm using brake cleaner and a paper towel here I know this is not ideal and you can see when I was cleaning it our uh, wire broke our trace and most likely this is 
why we had no sound from the radio. We had an open trace. I'm trying not to get brake cleaner, even though it's the California legal stuff. I'm trying not to get it on the case because it'll probably melt the case. But I, I realize this won't neutralize the alkaline, but it makes me feel a little better. As I was saying, you can pick these radios, these little pocket radios, they're pretty cheap if you're new to this, and have fun working on them. You know, once you get it to work, the ch real challenge becomes finding something decent to listen to. It's just like nothing anymore. I can't even do the news anymore. I can't handle it. I can't, I, it just the propaganda level, it's just like, I made references to this, it's like, the cigarette advertising industry in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Well, I'm doing some checks on this final, the third IF transformer here, which detect, uh, couples to the detector, um, checking this IF transformer right here. We have our detector diode, then we have from uh, ground up to collector and both windings appear to be open on this which is kind of no surprise and it's basically a deal killer so we go across our detector diode here yeah it's it's troublesome making contact but So there's our detector diode, uh, 0.2 volts, our germanium detector, and then we go across the that coil and we have nothing, it's open. And we come over here to the other side and it's open too. So this is basically a deal killer for this radio. I'm going to do some more investigation, but if that's the case, radio's history. And I just heated the solder up, and you can see exactly what I mean by the uh, spring there oxidized and separated from the solder and was no longer making contact with the solder. This happens. It can look like the solder joint's good, but it's not. Yes, that's actually the metal can has failed and cracked. So sad. Uh, this radio is trash. This is cool because this is total Americana right here. I mean, everything in here, I mean, even these crappy black capacitors that are guaranteed to be open are American made. I mean, the transistors are made by RCA. Um, see that? It's just ruined. So here's what we know. We had an open trace and there was no power getting to the power switch. We had a corroded, separated, oxidized pin from the battery positive, or maybe that's, according to this, it's positive. The, the pin was separated from the solder and corroded underneath the solder where you couldn't see it. We have open capacitors. I tested this non-polarized cap here is across the speaker. Uh, that one's completely open. This one shows uh, okay. This one shows about 30 ohms. That non-polarized cap is right here and it, it, it's totally open. So this is sort of a hopeless cause with that bad IF transformer. Could I stick one in there? 
uh, yeah, I might try and do that. Get one out of one of those Chinese radio kits and put it in there. But I don't think the impedance is going to be exactly the same. And it's probably going to squeal and howl and be poor sensitivity. So when, you, when you're working on something like this and you come across an issue like this, it's time to go to the uh, estate sale or garage sale and find another one. These oxidized, this, the oxidized solder just like, it, it like ruins your tip and it just won't melt. The oxidation layer just almost makes it like impenetrable. So I was thinking what I could do here is power the Blamby lands. Ooh. The Blamby lands be rolling hard. What I was thinking I could do here is power this up. And then that gets the dogs all like fired up all over the place. Power this up with the battery. And I, boy, that thing just keeps going. And I already confirmed that I have hiss from the speaker when I give it power. Let me do this. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, but there's hiss from the speaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the signal tracer and I'm going to go back basically into the base. So it comes out of this transformer here. And it goes, it comes out of this transformer, IF transformer, into the second IF transistor, then into the transformer that's melted and corroded away. By the coronavirus shutdown, the NBA team claimed federal insurance company dismissed. For the 49ers, Trey Lance was the third. After President Biden authorized deployment of 5,000 troops to assist, negotiations are reportedly underway with the Taliban for safe passage. Texas Representative Michael McCall says the situation in Afghanistan could have been avoided if the White House had listened to intelligence reports. November 12th at the... Oh, there we go. It's over here. This is the meeting with the Pope to social media. Evening you'll never forget. United States. The Department of Homeland not playing. seeking to win a majority of seats in Parliament. We talked a lot about baseball. Uh, you know, just the... the rely on the... Hamilton. <laughs> Question, Angela, which I think segues nicely from Bishop Jackson's comments. He used the phrase, what we need is clear public policy. He said clear public policy. Now, that can be rather subjective, obviously, depending on what you think clear public policy is. But talk to me about how we use this text. So... So yeah, we got good signal. The radio is working, coming out of the second IF transformer. So right here, this point 15 is where I had the nice loud signal, which is going into the base of that transistor. And of course, nothing here because this is all 
blown out and cracked and all the wires are broken inside. So what I might do is, let me try one more thing. Let me do this. So you can hear the audio portion of this trans uh, audio amp is working. Okay, so that's coming out of the detector. So the radio is working except that IF transformer. I don't like doing this stuff, but the stainless steel wire brush but you know what what am I gonna do I gotta get this layer of crust off of here so I can get the soldering solder to bite the crust is thick it's shining up I don't know if this is gonna show but Basically, I think the, the where it's broken is right here. And these wires are so small, and you can actually see some of them are broken. And on some of these pins, there's like five wires. And yeah, not, there's no resistance between any of them. So it looks like this guy has a mica capacitor in it. See right there, that capacitor. And just like on a tube set, it would be wedged in between the light blue and the base there. So there's no way that that does not have really bad silver mica disease. Also, this thing is just kind of unraveling as I touch it. So this, sadly, this is a lost cause of an IF transformer. I mean, if... If this was the last AM pocket radio in the world, uh, you might be able to get that to work again, but not me. Let me see if I can find something else to stick in there. So on the right is the RCA, on the left is the Chinese kit radio. Looks like the same damn thing to me. Except the Chinese kit radio is using a transistor instead of a detector diode. It's the same same circuit. Very close. So I believe that's the black one on here is the last IF. Let's see if we can bodge this in the RCA. Then we'll have to give it some type of uh, medication so it doesn't go into organ rejection. Not sure if I got this in right. I guess we'll find out. Remember, we still got bad capacitors.
hey, the sensitivity is there. Even with these open capacitors, it's kicking ass. Okay, I'm going to take and put this on the bottom of the board. Or the top of the board, or whatever. What a mess. Okay. This thing is hard to corroded. kind of hard to do this in LA because there's so many stations that I got it grounded. I could try more grounding. I need to try more grounding. It added another ground on the other side of this. Seems pretty good. Yeah, way better. So here's what that repair looks like. And, and you know, it's not perfect because the, uh, the leads are in a different spot. That are affected by the earthquake. We have at least close to 900 houses that have been destroyed. The earthquake was followed by a major aftershock. Haiti also facing a strike from trouble. I think the IF tuning got off when I put it back together and that transformer got pressed up against the speaker. I don't know what to do about that though. It's getting Kogo 600. That's out of San Diego. Make sure.
See, make sure. You're getting ready to move. Okay. What are you? The Marino Valley. Well, I don't know what to say. It's it's fixed, and you know the damage from that alkaline leaking that ruined this IF transformer was the main thing, besides the open solder trace. But I mean, that's just what happens when you leave batteries in a radio. What can you do? I thought I had another one around of these type of radios around here. I had taken it underground into some mines at night and it was picking up stations. I want to see if I can find that. I just don't know where I put it. It actually just spreads them around more in your sink and often on countertops and utensils. So just stick with the raw chicken itself and don't rinse it in the sink. And she says expiration dates do not apply to whether your food has salmonella. Brian Ping, KNX 1070 News Radio. Taliban is... Yeah, don't rinse your raw chicken. So, I, find, I found the other radio right there, but I put a uh, lithium, 3-volt lithium battery in this one. And this one is supposed to have, these are 4 volts. Let me open this one. You can see this is basically the exact same circuit. Uh, and I used 3 uh, triple quad A batteries and so this is running at 4.5 volts and this one works it's actually got a case right here but this one works so much better I mean you can't you can tell the sensitivity okay so there it is on this radio that's all the way up I mean, it's no contest, the sensitivity. And of course, one volt is 25%. So, you know, if I, if I had four volts, it would be a lot more sensitive. But this one, you know, has the right IF transformer in it. And it's not, that's what leaky batteries do. They just ruin your, your equipment. Anyway, uh, it's been resurrected. It's not happy. Uh, but I did make it play again, and it it's about as good as I think you can realistically expect based on what you've seen. So, I mean, I can use it to listen to the propaganda report on KNX. This, I'll keep this one for the DXer, for sure. This is the one I took several hundred feet underground into a mine tunnel at night and it was getting K and X 300 miles from here. Pretty impressive. <laughs> 